Here's a little project I had some fun with today. Yeah, I've been meaning to try it, and it was successful, so I'll uh, see how it goes. But I, I enjoy making these homemade batteries, and it's one of the things that I enjoy doing is uh, building a homemade battery and then seeing how long it runs. And some of the things have been successful and some haven't, and I've made many, many, many of them. But this is um, something that I hadn't tried before. I took a stainless steel tube off of one of these garden lights, these solar garden lights that has the cheap stainless steel tube and I put a piece of magnesium down the inside of the tube with a piece of paper towel wrapped around the tube and then just used an electrolyte of uh, water and salt and formed up a galvanic cell and I put it inside a bottle with some water in the bottom with a paper towel shoved up this tube so the capillary action will bring the electrolyte up to where the actual cell is right here and then hopefully evaporate out this way so maybe I can keep the electrolyte flowing and keep it fresh and we'll just see how long this uh, little motor runs this is a little pulse motor uh, reed switch pulse motor and uh, it puts out about a volt or so with maybe 10 milliamps. It's not very strong, but it's the duration. And some of my cells don't last very long, and some of them have been going for years and years. I just want to see what this does on a 24-hour run. But this is the construction, and I'm just calling it the tube battery, the uh, stainless steel magnesium tube battery. It's a stainless steel tube with the magnesium that is a little bit thinner, a little bit less diameter than the tube with just a sheet of paper towel wrapped around it and carefully put inside the tube. And then the paper towel hangs down the bottom and then inside the tube is another paper towel that runs up to that so that the water can come and flow up through capillary action and keep the actual cell operating. And uh, I'm lid motor, this is the 13th of June 2016 and uh, we'll just see how long this little cell works. Let me show you the voltage on it here. It's not great, but it's uh, it's something. It's enough to work a jewel thief quite nicely. Okay, there's my voltage on the cell. It's about one point, about one point one volts. Now on a dead short, the amp draws about uh, five milliamps on a dead short. It's not great, but what we're looking for here on this cell is duration and how long can this cell go before it uh, doesn't produce electricity anymore and that's one of the problems with uh, a homemade battery is they just don't work very long. You know, they dry out or something happens to the electrolyte or, or the anode goes away and they stop. If you ever made a lemon battery, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, its duration is the problem. This is how long can they work. And some of these uh, uh, high resistance cells like this it can work for a long, long time if you keep the electrolyte fresh. And we'll just see what happens with this idea of having the electrolyte flow up through capillary action and out in evaporation and see if I can keep this going. Now, I just wrapped a piece of aluminum foil around the tube there. That's actually the positive uh, cathode, and this is the anode, the uh, magnesium. And um, like I say, that's how the cell is configured. And it'll run a jewel thief quite nicely. There's no problem at all with having a jewel thief run off this. But uh, the idea was how long will it run? And we'll just have to take a look and see. Thanks for watching.